Alright guys, in this one, for m more deeks, uh, we're going to talk about the windmill and the skate to stick deek, which would be just R1 and down. That's the skate to stick. Well, stick to skate to stick, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the windmill. The backhanded windmill. And I thought there was a forehand windmill, but maybe I just don't know how to do that one. Um, two backhanded windmills. That guy. And this guy. The one-handed backhanded windmill. Just like those. We're going to be talking about those. And first of all, we'll just go with the uh, skate deke. Now there's three ways you can do this. You can just hold R1 and hit down. That works and it'll go depending on which way you're uh, which as far as I know it just depends on which side of the goal you're on because it just puts you more towards the middle of the goal. No? Alright, I was wrong on that. Um, sometimes it'll go off your left skate, sometimes off the right. The way to control that is when you hit R1 and down you push the left stick to which side you want to go to. See that? I went to the left with the left stick and it went to the left. And if I press to the right it'll go over towards the right. Now then, you can do that just like that, just, you know, as your regular skate, like, you know, that. Or you can do it on your backhand as well, and you can do it on your forehand the same exact way. That was the forehand, and this would be the backhand. Now, I prefer, I prefer doing it on the forehand or backhand. Um... Just because, I don't know, it makes it look fancier, I guess. And it goes the same. The same, uh, it should be the same way for left handies. And the left stick goes the same as well. If you, uh, go to the left a little bit, it'll make sure you go to the left. If you go to the right, it'll go to the right. Um, that's pretty much that. That's a it's a basic one. It's nothing, nothing fancy. And there's the between the skate stick, which is just put it in the drag move, which is just um, you know, down at about seven o'clock for uh, righties or lefties. Sorry, lefties at seven o'clock, five o'clock for five o'clock for righties um, hit the R1 button and down It'll go between your legs off the skates and back up to your stick um, that was actually different um, now for the backhand the backhand the one the backhand deke just go backhand R1 and I always go up an angle up to about 11 o'clock on the right stick I use both actually because the left stick more or less controls where the puck is gonna go and it'll bring it over towards you more um, if you do it that way. I think if you go to the opposite direction, like with the puck. Oh, damn it! I'm used to that one now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, if you go like that, it'll start to deke, but it won't finish that. So you have to make sure you go either don't touch the left stick, and I'll do that, which is fine. It'll still get around a defender. Or 
you have to make sure that you go to the left on the left stick. And it'll bring it over more towards where you're gonna be versus where um excuse me, um it'll uh it'll put the puck more towards where you're going. Or you can just use up and shove the puck around the outside of the defender versus the inside where you're going like that and it should pick it up unless the defender gets it which is why I go like that because it helps get around a defender and it also makes it a little harder for him to get the puck and for the one handed deke you're going to hold vision control back to about 5 o'clock R1 and up and it's just it takes a little practice to get get it quick to get it down quick I'm not that good at it I wasn't even at it I fucked that up <laughs> alright let's try that again vision control one handed R1 up and that would do that um, I just like the drag a little two handed backhander it's it's quicker to do I mean it doesn't look as fancy but fanciness doesn't always count as much as uh, getting a good goal opportunity I mean there is a definitely a time and a place when you would want to do the one hander when it's you know just one on one maybe the defender doesn't know what you're gonna do because you could do no not that hold on I gotta remember how to do the Kyle Tour skate deke um, nope maybe I'm doing it on the wrong hand maybe it's a forehand thing Yeah, this is it. So never mind. I uh for the one handed deeks I just or no, the backhand wind the windmills. I just prefer the one where you're using both hands. Seems like you get more control over it as well. But like I said, it doesn't look as fancy, but fanciness only gets you so far. Cause it I don't know, it it's harder, takes longer to get used to. Not by much. I mean, it's pretty. It's relatively simple, but it's not like I. Uh, oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> it's not like the. Uh, you know, the forehand backhand sweeps or the backhand forehand sweeps. You know, it's not. It's easier than that, but it's not. You know, one of the more difficult, or not one of the easiest ones, where it's just R1 and up, because that's that and that and that and that which the the uh this one the right r1 and right I do use quite a bit as a right handed player it is r1 and left I believe cause that's just a nice little move that gets around the uh defender you know it freezes their knees for a second stops them skating because they don't know where you're going to go. And then you can get in there and get a nice little shot. Alright. That'll do it.